what's up everybody it's Lee with the brand new episode for you guys and you guys only today i'm going to show you guys how to make some music on a little bit planet 2 i'm just going to get through it um most likely trap music you will be making if you want to make music like me i already showed you guys this Yeah, I'm not gonna show the whole thing because it took me so long. But uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to make something like this, whatever. Uh, yeah, I already know there's too much stuff on here. I gotta delete this. Uh, I'm trying my best to just speed through it. But uh, first off, I haven't took, I haven't taken any piano classes or nothing. But what you need to learn is chords. Chords are gonna be like the most thing you're gonna be using. Like that's one of the most important things. Now, what I like to do is just practice on the piano and then like switch it to another instrument, see how it sounds. And if it sounds too junky or it sounds too plain, either add something or switch the instrument. But uh, the really the the base, the most basic chord you need to learn is just skipping chords. Like put one right here, go up. Then you go up again. So it's basically you don't you don't have to mind these black keys. All the only thing you really just need to know is that you're skipping one white key, going to the next white key, skipping another white key, going to the next white key. And it'll just come out like this. And you know you can do it again. Yeah, so it doesn't sound too junky, doesn't sound too clinky or nothing like that. So that's something that you can work with. And as you progress and like type of stuff like that, you will end up making type of stuff like this. Yeah. So uh yeah, when you just basically get into all the chords and stuff um hey you can just you can make a lot of stuff when you make chords and stuff uh i might need to turn off my auto check but hey uh so we got that down i haven't really taken any piano classes or nothing um i took a music class in school like last year for the whole semester but it taught me everything that i already knew so it wasn't nothing that I really focused on because at church when I when I started learning how to do piano and stuff it was only at church I just started experimenting so hey but once you start making stuff like that uh you're just gonna start off from scratch now the, when I start off from the basis the first thing that I like to do is look at the tempo the tempo is something that you can really focus on when I'm making a trap beat usually it'll be two uh the highest 240 beats per minute um but when I whenever I'm making a song, it's like the beat, the uh the beats per minute is has to be the same as the original song that I'm trying to make. But uh, when I'm just thinking of stuff, um, uh, I usually put it on 240, and if it's too fast, I'll just slow it down. But um, uh, now I'm just gonna go ahead and use the piano, just because it's one of the most basic stuff, and uh. I'm just gonna put just just a little something. By the way, what I used to do, I used to uh go down to the musical scale and I used to put it on major, because major make it seem like it's happier. But on minor it sounds a little bit more sad and evil. Yeah, uh, I don't really use the pentatonic or blues because I don't make blues music at all. And the pentatonic is basically the same as minor, except there's a, there's a little, there's a couple little differences. But hey, I don't really use it. So I used to do that, but I was like, hey, I mean, I can I can make a lot of stuff now, so I I just stick on chromatic, and uh, you know, I'll be good with that. But uh, musical key, I usually leave it on. C, unless I want to like remix something now, put it on a lower tune, but 
If you want to make it lower, you just drop the note lower instead of just make it go like this because it'll only get higher and higher if you go to like if you just move around the musical key, but you just you just drop the keys like right here instead of doing like this. We just if you use the musical key, it's gonna go up. But what you can do is just drop it down and you'll be good. But uh another thing when you're working with the chords. That sounds terrible, but uh, okay, we're gonna do that now. That sounds terrible too. Uh, I mean, it's sometimes a lot of stuff won't work. So, that sounds terrible. Uh, what I can do, and my remote is tripping. So, I gotta make sure it's not on the black key. Sorry if you're watching this video, but yo, I'm trying to do something real quick. Um, let's let's switch the instrument. Another handy thing that you can do, if you copy the music, the musical bar, and you like get another instrument, and you just put it the same length as that one, or you can't just you know just place it on there, it'll turn into that instrument that you wanted to, and it'll just. And you got this. Let's bring it up a notch. Another handy thing you can do is uh, make it like, hmm, you can't do that. I don't really do it too often unless like I'm doing a beat drop or something. But uh, I'm just trying to add a lot of stuff in here so that you guys can know how do I make some of my beats. sound right cut up yeah so um you got that delete this real quick and uh a lot of stuff that i hate people when they be doing like beats and stuff it always be something like when they're making trap beats it always be something that's off key like uh I don't want to bring out someone else's music and like say that it was terrible or nothing, but it, it just really it kind of ticks me off. Not saying that you should do it just because it ticks me off. Like I'm not a ruler of the game, but uh, they'll be doing something like this. Like I can't do it because it's hard to do. Cause I'm so I'm so used to staying on tune, but. It's something like this is but when they do it it's way it's way irritating like you'll be feeling the vibe and then another instrument will just come in and it'll just mess everything up um like i said i can't really do it because i'm so used to staying on tune 
But uh, so now that we got that, you know, you got your tune and stuff. You can add some, you know, ambience in the background instead of just having it so plain. Uh. I might just use this. Oh no. <laughs> uh okay, that actually sounds like it should be a trap song. <laughs> Anybody make a trap song beat out of anything these days, or so, hey. But So what you can do is add a reverb in. We're not gonna put that much on there. And we're also gonna bring the, the volume down a little bit to 80. By the way, if you guys wonder how does the echo like that bad, if you want it to have a really good echo, you can just go down to the reverb setting and bring it all the way down to capital. The original one, I think, is like bright plate or something. Uh, but the cathedral, cat, cathedral, I don't know. Um, it adds like a really, really deep revert on it. So, uh, echo feedback, I don't really use it unless I'm trying to make something sound a little bit faster than it should be. Uh, volume sliders, I, I really. I, I barely use that. Like the only time I do use that is when, like, something is way too louder than something else that I want to be louder than. That. I don't know. <laughs> it's just it's it's complicated to explain. But if you were me, you would have been like, oh, in your head, it's like it's really easy to explain. But when you're doing it, it's like, eh. But uh, let's get on the beat now. Now usually it'll be a four beat. Like it'll be like the first part, eh, eh. And uh, and uh, boom, then that's the beat drop. So what I used to do, I used to use the sync per per kit one. I used to use that to, uh for the beat, but then I got sick and tired of it, and I just stopped. Cause it used to sound like it. It used to start to sound like it used to be sounding like that. Cause I think I put way too much uh strength on it or whatever. But uh, I used to use this too. This was like when I first started making music. I used to use these. But that got really annoying because it sounded like a techno beat. So I just use, and I know it sounds kind of weird, but I use the electric guitar muted. And I know you guys are like, what? Huh? 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 But if you look at it, if you stack them on top of each other, at least about five times, right on top of each other. And you double it and then you put it you put both of them together about right there it sounds kind of solid yeah you hear it let me move it over here so that you guys can hear it oh crap but it sounds like this You can add some reverb to it. But I'm like adding reverb to uh beats. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move this over right here. Hey. Hey, uh, uh, I'm just gonna copy that beat. Okay, this is like the basics of learning how to make music, like how I make it. And I might do an updated tutorial sooner or later. Cause I find new instruments to mess with like every day. So, uh, we're gonna use the clap. We're gonna double it. I like to use these uh 
these for like the little the tick tock thingy i don't know what to call it <laughs> but uh you just go like this i'm just put this on double time another thing Uh, if you press down on this and you press down on this and you gotta look over here and you press down on the uh, d-pad on the bottom and this pop up this basically is for uh, when you want to add I, I forgot the name of it but uh, it's like when you put three of them together instead of just doing it like instead of just doing it like this It's gonna sound really junky if you do it this way, but on here it sounds way more cleaner. So you just see for some reason this one is, is a little bit slower, but I recommend you just do it this way. Just press it down on the D-pad and uh just place it three times if you want to add that type of effect to it. I'm just Put that four times. Yeah, that sounds good. So, I'm just gonna add that there all those times, and here's how it sounds. Now, in these cases, this would be a very rare case where I need to use the volume sliders because for some reason um, the music like the, the melody is way too louder than the beat and we don't want the beats to be too loud but we want it, we want to hear it so we're gonna put that on 50 I like to do in music is after a while if you hear the same tune after a while you're gonna get bored of it so I just like to sometimes I like to have it a little bit more cleaner I just hit the camera but I like to have it a little bit more cleaner and I just like to take something off Now, another thing that's really important is the bass. Now, a lot of people, sometimes they don't want to add bass into their beats. Uh, I don't want to add bass into the beat sometimes because it just, it ruins it sometimes. Sometimes you just need to know when to not use bass and when to. You don't need to put bass in every single trap song that you make. And even if you do, just don't make it too intense. Like, don't be like, we should add more bass just for it to be a harder beat because it's not going to be a harder beat if you add bass on Little Bit Planet music it's just going to stay the same the the bass is not going to be any more harder it's just going to be louder and you're not even going to hear the the real beat so uh if you want to add more bass i recommend you just calm down on the bass sometimes and uh i mean sometimes i go a little bit crazy with the bass because i'll be trying to make a really hard beat drop or whatever but uh on here, it's a lot different. So, I like to go at least down to the the second to last octave. And the octaves is like the, the white lines that you see. In between those are like octaves. So, uh... Now the thing with this is I can't really find a 
a bass bass line. Like I can't find the, the regular tone to it. So I might just go ahead and go with this one. Now I like to double it up at least two or three times. So I'm just to do three to see how it sounds. You want to go down here. Actually, it kind of sounds like it will be a Drake beat. <laughs> eh. I mean, the bass, I'm just showing you guys how to make bass. This really, if I was just making this song, just be making, I wouldn't put the bass up in there. I'll just show you guys how to make bass. It's like that. The uh, that's what I use. It's a wind instrument. It's a concertina. Concertina. I didn't know how to spell it at first, but because I didn't, I wasn't looking at the name of it right then. But it, now I know how to spell it now that I'm looking at it. But uh, the concertina. That's what I use for bass. I don't use the uh clarinet. Because of that reason, it sounds like uh, 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 it, that's what it sounds like. <laughs> but uh, I don't really use it for real, for real. But now. Uh, that's basically how you make a beat like me. You know, if you wanna if you wanna add extra stuff, usually you could just double this up, copy this, even though I messed it up, and you just get another instrument that you like and just put it on there. Yeah. So that's basically how you make a beat. So if you guys wanna hear it from the start. And that's how you do it you know when you get when you start doing stuff like this and you just do it different ways over and over again you're gonna advance and then once you get to the next stage you're gonna be doing it over and over again then you're gonna advance again so it's, it's just simple stuff you might start off in the you might start off not as good but I mean for heck's sake we go all the way down to one of my first songs that I ever made on this uh, profile That's not my song. That's not my song. <laughs> uh, and this is it. This was my first song that I've made on this profile.
Yeah, I know it's making your ears bleed, but uh, yeah, that was my first song, and I just advanced and I advanced and I advanced because I knew that I was good at making music, but I just wanted to keep on experiencing. And I want to keep on experimenting, so you just gotta keep on trying. You know, it might sound not as good at first, but hey, you just gotta keep on trying. I didn't just come straight into making music on Little Planet like just extremely good. Like it wasn't even that easy for me when I first started off, but once you get the hang of it. Make about 100 songs and you'll be you'll be good. <laughs> nah, but you just got to keep on practicing, man. And I promise you, you'll be way better than you think you were. So, yeah, man. Uh, I will, I'm not going to finish this beat. I'm just being honest. I'm just showing you guys because this beat is actually kind of bad. Compared to my new stuff, new, my newer stuff. So, I'm not going to use that. But, uh... Yeah, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this little episode of me making music. If you guys want to learn or if you guys have any questions, I'll be glad to answer them in the comments. If you're looking on how to make music and stuff. Uh, if you want to just ask me a question on Little Bit Planet, you want to join me, see how I make my music like right in front of you, then yeah, you can just add me. Uh, and I'll be glad to accept you. I'll accept you sooner or later. But uh, yeah, that's an episode, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys make some good music in this community. Bye-bye.